The Nintendo Switch is now 5 years old as of today, and I would like to take a look at it overall to see the good and the bad that this console has to offer. Let's start by taking a look at the games. The Switch games are all amazing, you have really great exclusive games like Metroid Dread, Splatoon 2, and Animal Crossing, and even some really great ports such as Spirit Fairer, Hollow Knight, and Hades. All these great games are available on a console that can be played anywhere, and I think that's a really cool thing to have. However, I do have my gripes with these games, and that's mainly with the game ports. You see, while media ports and ports of pre-existing games are optimized nicely, especially when it's done by Nintendo, ports of existing games that don't get the proper optimization to the Switch are oftentimes disappointing or just downright laughable. For example, let's take a look at Ahead in Time. The game itself was wonderfully crafted and optimized so well on the Switch, a nice 720p 30fps. So then if everything's optimized so nicely, then why do cutscenes have this? It just doesn't make sense, especially when you consider that the actual image that this character is displaying is just a basic picture and isn't some high definition video. Other ported games such as Five Nights as Help Wanted and Little Nightmares 2 only push this truth that third party ports on the Switch are terribly optimized at times, with Help Wanted being downright terrifying to control and Little Nightmares 2 being a bit underwhelming to look at. To me though, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that ported games such as Ahead in Time struggle to even optimize basic PDFs and cutscenes, meanwhile other games on the Switch look like this. Moving on though, I want to talk about the Switch's online service. The service itself is underwhelming to say the least, and Nintendo's push for the expansion pack only drives this feeling some more. Now, I won't deny that the price for the expansion pack is a bit steep, however, it's still decently affordable considering it's only $10 less than what you have to pay yearly on other consoles. Now of course the expansion pack at the moment is a bit more tolerable considering you'll be buying two emulators and two DLC packs with it, but the feeling still remains. On the whole, Nintendo Switch is a great line of consoles with even better games, and it's a console that, despite its many flaws, I found myself enjoying for years. But despite all that, today is both the Switch's and my birthday, and I'll be celebrating it tomorrow over my Switch channel. However, you can celebrate it today by pressing the subscribe button. Link will be in the description. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.